South Florida Palestinian group demands Biden call for complete ceasefire Fort Lauderdale, as bombs continue to drop in Gaza, with thousands of people dead. A temporary truce between Israel and Hamas will enact a four-day ceasefire in exchange for hostages. Time equals 400 ms, greater than, we have set two prime goals. The goals are to eliminate Hamas and dismantle its terroristic and political ability to threaten Israel and to bring all the hostages back home, said Moor El Bastarinsky, Consul General of Israel in Miami. The first 50 Hamas hostages will be women and children, and 150 Palestinians will be released from Israeli jails. The key is in a way three Hamas prisoners for each hostage that they're holding, said Starinsky. A group of Palestinian supporters gathered in Fort Lauderdale, saying the deal isn't enough, four days? And they're going to kill again and kill again and kill again, said Ibrahim Aramali. The group is demanding that President Joe Biden call for a complete ceasefire. Biden's lies have killed about 14,000 Palestinians to this day, including about 7,000 children, said Krishna Maiden. Some people at the rally told us they've lost dozens of loved ones since the war started. 24 of my own family got killed, said Aramali. Though a temporary agreement for peace is on the table, the atrocities of the war are weighing heavily on the hearts of those here in South Florida. I cannot sleep, I cannot work, I cannot do anything, I cannot even function, said Aramali. It's such a heartbreak and agony for us, said Starinsky, according to the Associated Press, 10 Americans are being held hostage by Hamas, and three of those Americans, including a three-year-old girl, are expected to be released with the first group of 50 people Thursday morning.